Okay, here we are again. Um, I uh, have a hydrogen generator um, Huffman apparatus, how like apparatus in the background here. I've got the um, uh, positive terminal on the right hand side and the negative terminal on the left hand side. Uh, you can see there's two tubings coming from the top and the two tubings are connected to uh, a T which combines both the hydrogen and oxygen together and then the T goes to like a bubbler like apparatus here um, which I will show you um, in just a minute how this will work okay I'm going to connect the hydrogen off apparatus right here connect this here here and we will see here that hydrogen production starts immediately both in the right hand side and in the left hand side um, what you will see here uh, is that uh, in the left hand side there is a rising column of hydrogen gas that is because it's a, a negative terminal is connected there and on the right hand side we got oxygen gas coming out um, from where the positive terminal is connected and again the gases are going through the tubing um, and uh, combining together at the T and uh, going through uh, into the uh, bubbler type thing right here um, and I will show you what this is all about here what I do is what I got here is I got two wires connected to um, a spark plug uh, transformer um, and inside I got uh, two bolts that are just about one sixteenth of an inch apart from one another uh, and there's a uh, water in there which is bubbling with hydrogen and oxygen gases okay uh, what I'm going to do here is to demonstrate um, how this works the hydrogen and the oxygen uh, is is uh, is created separately here and uh, being separate is much safer than the other ones that create it together but at the T, right at the T here, it is it is combined, joined together, and this is where um, it is uh, uh, somewhat uh, dangerous because uh, hydrogen and oxygen combined uh, creates an explosive mixture, and you have to really know what you're doing before you get into any of this stuff. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach a balloon. A balloon. Uh, I got a balloon here. I'm going to put it on this bubbler apparatus. Dump a little bit of water, just a little bit too much water in here. Just a little bit. Okay. Oops. Give me a hard time. Here we got a balloon connected to the uh, bubbler, and uh, the balloon is being filled up right now with hydrogen and oxygen gases. This is going to be a very interesting um, thing. I've never done this before. I've never, never actually done this experiment before. This is the first time. And the balloon is filling up, as you can see. One thing I, I, I got to point out here is that. Um, this is a, an extra safe device compared to uh, other hydrogen generators that produce the hydrogen and oxygen gas together. Not that you know it's wrong to do so, uh, it's just that this thing was created to be a little bit more safer. Um, again, the hydrogen and oxygen is, is created to, uh, separately here. Hydrogen by itself without, without any other gas is not explosive. Uh, it doesn't even ignite, but when it, when it is uh, mixed with oxygen or uh, any other gas such as chlorine um, then you will get a, um, a an explosive mixture even with a little bit of oxygen uh, I've read that even five percent can cause an explosion if it's ignited um, one thing you gotta realize about uh, hydrogen as well is that um, it burns extremely fast which means when it explodes um, the explosion 
will will actually happen so fast that a huge uh, bang will, will result. Um, more so, that I've read that hydrogen burns faster than gasoline. Um, so a hydrogen explosion is actually more powerful than a gasoline explosion, which is very powerful. So what you got to do is you got to make sure that you you actually wear earplugs um, and that you stay stay a safe distance from uh, from any kind of the experiment like this. Uh, if you if you uh, happen to experiment with hydrogen at home, uh, please do so. Uh, knowing the risks that are involved, even static electricity could cause uh, ignition, uh, and uh, you never know when static is going to hit. You mean you can just rub against the table or or just walk across the floor, and static it can create a static electricity. So please bear that in mind. Uh, always wear your protective equipment when doing uh, any of these kind of things. Okay, um, now I'm going to unhook this here to prepare for the ignition of it. Okay, so you're on your mark. Just a few seconds, it'll ignite it. Okay. 